It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer and today I got something really, really special to show you guys. I am so excited to announce Beerhead Brewing Company and Simon Martin. Collaboration time! It's Simcoe Simon Double Dry Hop New England IPA coming in at 6.5% ABV. I went out to Northern Ireland to Kilkeel just outside of Belfast in November of 2017 to brew this beer. It's January 2018. We've got the beer. It's ready. It's a it's a full-time beer. It's one of Beerhead Brewing Company's permanent range of beers now, which is really excited. I'm really kind of, you know, that sort of thing for me is like tremendously brilliant to be able to, to know that if I wanted to pop to Ireland, I could find a beer that I brewed. Uh, and it, it, sounds, it, it sounded tremendous when we brewed it. We, come up, we think we've come up with a tremendous, tremendous recipe for the beer. So without further ado, let's get this New England IPA out into a glass and see what we get. Silver bottle cap. Nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening. It's a good start. It's always a bit nerve-wracking drinking your own beer on camera. Oh, look at this. This is one hazy bomb. It's exactly what we wanted. So that's ticked the second box. Look at the colour on that. Absolutely tremendous. It's got a three finger, slightly off-white head. Great levels of carbonation. It really is a beautiful juicy juicy deep amber colored beer really hazy really hazy should we get the aroma almost losing my words here through excitement <laughs> punchy mango passion fruit, grapefruit, pink grapefruit, fleshy blood orange. <laughs> it smells incredible. And at this stage of the review, before I drink the beer, I would like to say that even though this is my beer with Beer Hut Brewing Company, a beer I collaborated with, I like to think that I'm my own worst critic. So. Please don't think that I'm standing here raving about my own beer for my own benefit or for Beer Hut's benefit because they flew me over. This is still a very independent, independent-minded independent, independent beer review. Off we go. <laughs> My life keeps getting better and better. Stone the Crows! Stone the Crows! What an immense beer! Absolutely incredible! Where do I start with this beer? Do I start with the big OT wraparound mouthfeel that sticks on your palate a little bit long enough? Or, or getting my words mixed up, long enough to just sit there and release more of that flavour. Citrus, grapefruit, pine needle, fleshy blood orange, mango, passion fruit, biscuity maltiness in there, it's a little bit of sweetness and then a fantastic amount of, of hops on the back end. It's it's nice and bitter at the same time. It's not crazy bitter. It's not ripping your palate about. This is all about the flavour. This is all about producing that mango and that passion fruit and the grapefruit. Do you know, I used to dream of drinking beers like this. I, I used to drink beers like this. I remember the first time I ever had a beer like this, I, ra I raved about. Uh, it was a Northern Company. Uh, they're, they're in Morrison's now in the UK. Uh, it might come to me, Hard Knock, Hard Knock Brewing Company. I remember having it infrared and that blew me away. Have a look at my infrared beer review in the future. Hard Knock Infrared. I went completely crazy for the beer. 
And I always imagined back then, probably five years ago that was, I would love to create something like this. And here we are, here we are. We got it, this is it. This is it, it's tremendous. It's everything I dreamed of, it's everything I wanted to do. I have brewed beers like this in the past, uh, most notably with Lijefjord Microbrewery in Norway. And of course we got a beer coming up from Sweden as well, I think that's gonna be cracking. Um, there was a beer made uh, on my behalf um, called Brewski Stone the Crows, which was a tremendous beer as well. Uh, they're the three, four beers that really kind of stand out. Uh, in my beer journey, the beers that I brewed with different people. Um, this is, I, I'm so proud, I'm so proud, I'm so excited to be standing here today with such a wonderful beer in my hand, knowing that this is gonna be permanent. What I have behind me, I'm not gonna drink the rest of the bottles. I'm not gonna drink them. I have about, uh, one, two, three, four, I have nine bottles Four there, five there. Let me double check, make sure I can count. I'm gonna give them to my local bottle shop and I'm gonna ask them politely to, to put them on the shelves and sell them for me. And I'm gonna maybe see if we can do some kind of Twitter thing or, or, or something along the lines, just to see what we can do with it in the UK, to try and get it over here in the UK. Uh, that's that's the plan. I did it before uh, with a few of my beers. Um, I'm gonna do it again. Uh, we're just gonna keep trying keep trying to get the beers when I travel <clears throat> around the world, around Europe, try and get the beers to the UK. Um, I'm going to rate this beer now. Um, oh, it's, it's just amazing. Touch of licorice in it as well. I'm going to rate it and I just think it's staggering. It's absolutely Stagger. I love that 80s feel as well on the label. I like that beer enough to give it a tremendous Stone the Crows 10 out of 10. It's a 10 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Thank you very much to the guys at Beer Hut Brewing Company for the invitation to come and brew with you. It was a wonderful time in Ireland. We lost our phones. We drank bottles and bottles of Imperial Stout. We had chips all down our front. It was a great weekend. Thanks for watching. Put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! And cheers.